Dear Paid, I want to work with you and, re and do research for you. Please contact me if you're open to any kind of suggestion. I'm a businesswoman, old enough to be your mother, who has a gift of spotting patterns. Born with it. All right, what kind of uh, patterns do you have? What kind of work would you like to do? Um, here we go. Yes, that's fun. You answered me. Yes, going to be 60 in a couple of years, but I don't count my years because I'm still 25 at heart. I told you my age because I watched one of your videos and you reminded me of my son. I told you my age so you wouldn't worry that I'm one of those girls you talked about in our video. I get a kick out of you. As a manner in which your work, you work or think, in some ways I relate to you. Example, I bailed, I bailed on getting my pilot's license because I couldn't afford my own plane and I just could never see myself relying on someone else to take care of the plane I was going to fly. Your metaphor as a pilot in preparation was just one thing that struck me. I spend my life building things, machine, tools, light industrial and have a background in quality control. In the 80s, I used my skill at seeing patterns to do long range forecasting and then the engineers would create a regression analysis to support me. Instead of the other way around, all that is quality to build in no sorry, so bored. My favorite book on frustrating days is One Small Step. I view you as a kind of a bird, one touch and go after another. That's very cool. I've watched you for a while. Folks like you because of the freedom you portray and so that you recognize this is not random. I don't think you're a creep like so many, most, everybody in life, everybody online. I used to take trading pretty seriously over a decade ago. Folks who know me have taken me real seriously on my calls as the markets as to the markets over time. Even when I've been out, I was asked a while ago if I get back to some of the old folks trade, research, support the end of wars and the market taking control of their own retirement accounts. The market has changed and then some things haven't. Most everybody st still wants someone else to tell them what to do. You're obviously an independent thinker like I am. You have been following, you have a following which is a real strength. I wish to be an invisi as invisible as possible. I admire what you do. Putting yourself out there like that. I could never do that. So not my style. But there is strength in numbers. This is one half of my thought. You're missing some of the things. That's not criticism. You're looking at a lot. And you're living your fantastic lifestyle. I'm a detailed nerd. I have a lot of legal experience. I have a lot of acquisitions investor experience but most of all I have an instinct for what is naturally attractive to certain groups of people you know what totally defines business in the market and I have been able to the ability to small to spot small problems I actually read all 110 pages of a material agreement for example and spot the devil I see ahead of what looks clear this is the other half of my thought I of course have no idea how much time you actually put into gaining any background or current or keeping current on stocks you're watching but I tend to do a lot and perhaps that can be a compliment to your style I'm proposing no more than sharing ideas research hunches and intuition and most importantly honest critique I don't do chat as in I'm not interested in a public forum I've come across stocks and charts where I thought to myself I wonder what paid to think of it in other words I think I'm seeing upcoming opportunities as well I might be off base after all, as a matter of my own nature, I'm applying different criteria than you. That's all there is. It's possible that we think alike in some important ways relative to making money in the markets. I think I might be able to offer you forward-looking or current insight into opportunity here and there. I don't want anything from you actually except perhaps a dialogue that challenges me. And I'll thank you right now because I find you amusing. It's a compliment. The reason I contact you the way I did is because this email was available and typically when I want to know somebody I just pick up the phone and call. I thought you were, if you were as real as I got the impression you were, that you answer me. With empathy, I can hardly imagine what your life is like when you open the door to communicating with so many people who you don't know, can't know, and without fear. The world is goofy. I want a window to that world. It's a bit of far out, but maybe there's something I can contribute to your end of war and in doing so, open a window for myself. I hope you're real. Safe journey, Janine. Well, Janine, uh, I'm real. I think I'm real. You can see how real I am. I actually touched my skin and I'm pretty real. Um, 
I, I, I pretty much uh, approach the market, approach the world. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to put this, but if I were to look back at my uh, life and back at my journeys and back to my past life, I guess I was a priest. So that actually applies to my, uh, uh, that applies to my uh, self. Uh, <laughs> I, I do believe in you know past life and future life and so forth. So I guess you could you could say that I do. Uh, I used to be very rich in one of my lives, and I used to be very poor and very spiritual, kind of like a priest with eight kids in my other life. So therefore, you know. A, putting myself out there on the web you know I just try to put the good out there I'm sure everybody has their little dark side and of course in the market of finance everybody does have their dark side you know in a world where everything is based on money you might expect like what people really want but how am I uh, how do I approach people uh, I keep a very low profile I watch I I make research I pretty much can feel a person out very quickly you know my guys are pretty uh, you know been there through the thick and thin and they've been uh, helping me out you know they've been able to let me do what I want in this life I guess because my last life I think it was uh, cut short so a matter of who I am and what I do I, I mean I don't know uh, the, the, I keep safe keep a low profile I approach people very openly and positively and try to give uh, good stocks as well as give them an opportunity to examine you know lots of new places because you know when when you when you do stock trading you can be in any city in the world and that's not only this city you know i'm in nice right now nice france and uh, i guess life is good i can't complain much i just had a whole pizza and uh traveling I guess you know I could never be stuck in an office you know getting paid to work for somebody else you know I enjoy the freedom enjoy making choices you know making choices and being responsible for them choices you know I guess I gotta you know I got um, how do I call it I'm impacting my own future with my own decisions when you work for somebody else you know you're kind of uh, limited to what that boss has to say so how do I how do I approach people I guess you know try to see try to see the good out of it of what you know positive things this uh, you know this lifestyle and this career can do and try to put it out there try to put all the you know all the all the opportunities out there so definitely a lot of opportunities <laughs> I had to stop for a second so this is Nice France and it's pretty awesome here